Jabba's son, Rhoda the Hutt, first appeared in the Clone Wars film, where he was kidnapped by the Separatists in an attempt to deceive the Hutt cartel into aligning with them. But he was later rescued by the Jedi, which resulted in a treaty between the Republic and the Hutts. So what happened to him afterwards? Rhoda didn't really appear in many stories following his debut in the movie. He was in one episode of The Clone Wars where he briefly made an appearance in Jabba's palace when Natluiski Papanoida was looking for his daughters. Later, according to the Darth Maul Shadow Conspiracy book, Jabba had Rhoda sent away to safety when he was notified that Darth Maul and his Shadow Collective were coming to his palace. After that, we don't know what happened to Rhoda, as after Jabba the Hutt died in Return of the Jedi, Jabba's grandfather Zorba had his grandson's will which stated that Jabba didn't have any children to inherit his criminal empire, to which he argued that he should have it. Although this will was declared fake by the Hutt courts, it did lead to a lot of infighting between the other Hutts over Jabba's remaining assets. So this begs the question, what happened to Rhoda for the other Hutts not to give him his father's criminal empire? Well, there is a few possible answers to that question, one being that at some point between the Clone Wars and Jabba's death, Rhoda himself died thus making Jabba's will true. The other possibility is that Rhoda was way too young to run such an operation. Although he would be about 36 years old by the time Jabba was killed, for a hut, that's a very young age. A hut at that age had the mentality and maturity of a five or six year old human. So if he was alive, he was kept out of this conflict due to how immature he was. But let us know what you guys think happened to him, and if you want him to appear in any future Star Wars stories. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.